Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It's official, Deontay Wilder will rematch Luis Ortiz on November 23rd in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand and this will be a Fox Sports pay-per-view. So what I'll do is I'll get to some of the official quotes from the press release and then on to a few thoughts. So we'll start with Deontay Wilder who says... When I fought Luis Ortiz, not only did he have the pedigree, but he also had the classification of being the boogeyman of the division. I agree with those who say that Luis Ortiz was my toughest fight to date. No one wanted to fight him and they still don't. In the rematch, there's more confidence and more motivation to do what I have to do. I've already seen the style before, it's going to make it more fun. I can't wait to see how he tries to handle me when I'm at my best. And he goes on to say, this is the second big fight for me under my company, Bomb Squad Promotions, and I'm very happy with that. We still have a lot of work to do to build it into the kind of company that I know it's going to be in the future. But it's coming along. To be able to do a Fox Sports a PBC pay-per-view at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas under my own banner is fantastic. And then of uh, Luis Ortiz, he says... I have to give Deontay Wilder a lot of credit for taking this fight because it shows he has the heart of a true champion. He is not at all scared to take a dangerous fight because, let's be honest, this is the most dangerous fight for him. In my opinion, he is the best heavyweight in the world until someone beats him. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on November 23rd at the MGM Grand. And then the press release goes on to talk about the co-main event, which is between Leo Santa Cruz and Miguel Flores for the WBX Super Featherweight Championship. But we're not going to get to that because this is a heavyweight channel. But there's a few interesting things within the uh, the quotes there. Um, is Luis Ortiz the most dangerous opponent for, uh, for Deontay Wilder right now? I think many would probably say no because we've already seen that fight before. But also, Deontay Wilder has some skin in the game here in terms of his promotional company, Bomb Squad Promotions. Uh, so his level of exposure for this fight is unclear. And why I bring that up is because this is going to be a pay-per-view fight, and it's obviously been confirmed here. It's going to be a Fox pay-per-view. But Deontay Wilder's company has some sort of skin in the game. They're obviously helping put on the event, so they have uh, some financial exposure here. And it's one of these fights where this is a very good fight, don't get me wrong, but in terms of the pay-per-view interest, it remains to be seen what sort of interest from fans there will be because effectively, we have seen this fight before. We saw Luis Ortiz get knocked out. There was a little bit of controversy with Wilder getting a few extra seconds after I believe it was round seven, the doctor coming to the canvas, checking him out. Uh, Wilder had been sort of um, taking a lot of punishment in that uh, previous round ahead of round eight. Uh, and obviously he went on to win the fight, scoring a knockout, dropping Luis Ortiz in total, what was it, three times, I believe. The the general consensus from what I've seen online from predictions and pundits, uh, people within the boxing industry, is about 200,000 buys. And if it's $75 a pop, which it probably will be, that seems to be about the regular figure at the moment for a United States pay-per-view, that's $15 million. And once you take out distribution by Fox, which will be roughly, they'll get take about 50% of that, you know, you start to get down to, you know, is this really going to pay the bills? But I guess it's one of these sort of things. It's it's a bit of a risk, but I guess this is another litmus test to sort of see where Deontay Wilder's popularity really is. Because I think for a lot of people, they would have preferred to have seen a fresh fight, a new name for Deontay Wilder to fight, but he's chosen to um, uh, give Luis Ortiz a rematch, even though Luis Ortiz hasn't looked that impressive since the first fight in which he lost. He's had three fights, including his most recent against Christian Hammer. But I guess this is, um, you know, not without danger. Luis Ortiz, even at 40 years old, is still a dangerous fighter. He's a um, very good crafty southpaw and we saw in that first fight he can obviously hit and hurt Deontay Wilder but obviously 18 months removed from that first fight is he going to be any better and I think arguably people would say he's probably slid in a bit you know from where he was I don't believe Luis Ortiz is maybe prime Luis Ortiz anymore at 40 years old but he might be able to give Wilder a good fight but my prediction for this fight would be a, De a Deontay Wilder knockout uh, but probably much sooner than the first fight 
that was 10 rounds to take out Luis Ortiz in the first fight. And Deontay Wilder, having seen that style before, I think he will be better prepared for the second time around. And I do believe it will be a quicker result. So I'm not writing Luis Ortiz off completely, but... I think for me, I think this will go one way. And uh, if Luis Ortiz can upset the apple cart, it will really be quite an upset. 18 months ago, he was undefeated. He was considered a very dangerous fighter, but some of that mystique has sort of left him um, from that loss, but also in some of the performances since. He hasn't looked necessarily that great against Christian Hammer. Hammer was uh, timing him and hitting him with the right hand quite a bit. He was unable to stop Travis Kaufman, dropped him a number of times in that fight, but he did do the business against Razvan Kajan, who dropped, uh, stop, dropped and stopped him in a couple of rounds. So yeah, this is a decent fight. I think many boxing fans would have preferred to have seen this just on free TV because uh, paying $75 for a fight you've already seen before and it's likely to go the same way but maybe even um, you know earlier end earlier than the first fight you know there is a few things that are sort of against this fight but yeah I expect Deontay Wilder will win against Luis Ortiz and I'll do some other uh, other coverage of course closer to the fight uh, but yeah this announcement it has been made confirmed November 23rd in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand what do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.